Hi guys, and in today's video we're gonna talk about this patterns section right here. And right now we have like our custom block theme, we created a couple of videos before, I will leave a link down in the description below. And in this patterns section right now we just have two template parts like this. Uh, but in order for you to get a more clear idea about that, let's just uh, switch to a default theme for a minute, for example, um, 2024, this one, and let's go back to this patterns section right now. And here you can see that we have like a lot of folders right here, and all these folders are, are having some patterns. And we also have a couple of template parts. This theme also has header and footer, just like our custom theme. And we also have like a post meta and sidebar post template template parts, sorry, right here. And uh, yeah, let's let's just do the same for our custom theme. So we just gonna create a couple of template parts. I will show you how. And then we are gonna play a little bit with patterns, something we're gonna try to recreate something like this, like here. All right, let's go ahead and switch back to our custom block theme. Here it is. And then let's create a template part. For example, we have a couple of templates right here. Maybe we have like index template and maybe we have um, search results template and both of these templates have the same sidebar. So if we just go and try to edit this template, you can see that uh, we just have the same blocks in the sidebar and they just uh, copy it from template to template. And in order to simplify this whole process, we can just create a template part from it. And how to do that? Let's just um, open a new tab here and then go to the site editor and here we just go to patterns, hit this plus button and let's create a template part first of all. And it's gonna be, I don't know, something like a sidebar, I guess. And let's uh, choose the general area because <laughs> Clearly, it's not a header or a footer. So something like this. And then we're just about to go ahead and copy this, uh, I guess, not the whole column, but the content of this column, right? Okay, so we just need to select all the blocks inside it like this. Then we're just gonna go ahead and hit this copy blocks link and then paste it right here. Okay, and now we have our sidebar. So we have a couple of um, blocks right here and that's our sidebar, our custom template part. On that, save. All right. And then you can see that we have uh, one more template part right here, like header footer and sidebar. And let's do the same for, I guess, uh, for post meta. Not sure. Or maybe we do not need to do that. Because right now in this um, uh, posts list, we have like only a date. But if you go to any single post template, we have a date and categories. So it's kind of a little bit different. So maybe we do not need to create one more template part for post meta because uh, categories right here are displayed just under the text and we have, uh, yes, we have we just have dates and categories displayed separately, but in here we have like they're in one single line. All right, so let's skip for now and let's just uh, do some work with our sidebar template. Okay, right now we just um, go ahead uh, to our theme folder to the parts folder and here we just need to create one more file and let's uh, name it sidebar html 
like this and then we just go right here edit this uh, I mean just copy all of that from here to our sidebar here and then we can just remove this uh, template part which is now this which is now like uh, in the database and we're gonna use the one from the theme folder like this and as you can see our template is still here because because it has it is here in the parts folder and in case you would like to make its name a little bit more customized let's say because right now it's just uh, it matches its slug we can go to our theme json file scroll down right here and here we already provided some configuration for header and footer and let's do the same for the sidebar and the area it matches uh, the file name then oops uh, sorry guys area is the category and uh, name is matches the file name title is just your custom type so let's say my sidebar and area can be either header or footer or uncategorized it's like the general so we have um, three areas in total so no more all right let's use uncategorized here and uh, yeah on that safe and let's uh, refresh this page and see what we have and yes as you can see we have our custom template part for the sidebar and right now let's just go ahead to our templates for example to the index template and um, then we can just remove everything which is inside this column like this and then just insert a template part here okay let's just click this plus button like this and then we just scroll down to the template parts we're gonna use this and select our what ah I guess I need to refresh this page I forgot to do that okay and now let's try to do the same so I'm gonna remove all these blocks I'm gonna choose a template part and yes right now I have my sidebar here nice and as you can see right now we have just a template part right here and we do not need to copy the same blocks from template to template so we can just go to our search results template and do exactly the same so I'm just gonna remove all that blocks and then I'm just insert our sidebar template part here on that save that's it and when you just go right here into your template part and make some changes over here I don't know for example we can just uh, change uh, we can just just display the categories uh, before the archives right here like this so save and if you just go here and refresh this page you can see that categories are now displayed above the archives and the same is going to be applied for all the page templates where we use our template part so if you go to the index template the same if you go to the search templates search results template the same that's how it works so I think we are done with template parts and let's talk a little bit about patterns what exactly patterns are because when we were here in the patterns and when we click a plus button we can create a pattern and a template part and we never actually talk about patterns let's do it right now so a pattern it's actually kind of the same thing because it um, it's just a couple of blocks in together and you can use these uh, blocks in different parts of your theme um, so all right and I, I think the main difference between the template part and the pattern is uh, that you can use template parts 
only here inside editor when making any changes in your templates right here. But as for patterns, you can also use them inside posts. For example, right here, you can use your patterns. All right, let's um, go ahead and create a pattern. And uh, so we just go here, click this plus button, hit this create pattern. All right, let's create our custom pattern. Let's name it, I don't know, call to action or something. And uh, we can choose categories. Hmm. I don't know where these categories are coming from. <laughs> By the way, it looks like they're just from from the 2024 theme. I'm not sure. All right, anyways, let's just uh, create this category right here. Why not? Okay, let's make this pattern like a synced one. And as you can see, we have kind of the same way how we created a template part. And here we can just add a couple of blocks. I don't know. something like this. And that's our pattern. So let's say we created a very complex pattern. We make some custom styles for our blocks and we just want the users of our theme to use this pattern. When we create a post or something, for example, they can just hit this plus button. And I guess our pattern should be displayed right here. My patterns and my call to action. So they just hit this, um, insert this pattern in the, the content. And then when we up, they update the post and if, if we change anything inside this pattern and because it is a synced pattern, here are the suggestion to update this pattern as well. So it's gonna be updated for all the posts. I hope it's clear. And uh, Right now, I'm just going to show you a very interesting website. I mean, not like a website, but a page with uh, patterns, like uh, the gallery of some custom patterns on the WordPress.org website. And we can choose any of them to use in our theme as an example. And let's see what we can create from it. For example, we are using call to action, right? And let's um, let's choose this one. It's not really so complicated. And um, I can hit this copy pattern button. And then let's go back to the patterns. I don't, uh-huh. Patterns, and let's make some changes in our custom pattern here. So I just paste it here without any changes. And I have a pattern like this right now. All right, on that save. And as you can see, if you right, if you right now in the patterns section here in the site editor, we have our custom patterns and they're separated by categories. So we have a call to action pattern, which is now displayed in this specific category call to action something like this. And we cre can create a lot of patterns for our custom theme. And right now I'm just going to show you if you just go to any post, your pattern is going to be displayed here. Okay, maybe it's uh, <laughs> it, it doesn't look very nice right now, but it's not what I'm what we are going to do here to we just need to understand how it works. All right. And right now, as you may assume this pattern is in our database. So it's not exactly the part of our custom theme. And let's make it the part, part of our custom theme right now. And how to do that? There are actually two ways how you can do that. And the first way is kind of, I don't know, kind of outdated maybe, or it is more for a classic themes only, not like for black themes but uh, I'm gonna show you it anyway. So we can create a new file functions.php and in this file we can use uh, a hook. I guess it's gonna be init 
and inside this hook we can use a register block pattern function and uh, this uh, function is gonna have a pattern slug for uh, in our case we can use like I don't know Misha call to action let's say it's our pattern ID or something and it's gonna have title and it's gonna have content and inside the content we just gonna use all of that from here so we just gonna copy all of this and use it here so that's one of the ways of creating block patterns but there is another way and I'm gonna show you we need to create one more folder in our custom team so this folder is gonna be patterns and inside this folder we can just create PHP files with our patterns for example uh, just exactly like here in 24, 24 theme they also use the same approach so we have like a patterns directory here patterns folder and then we have some a lot <laughs> of patterns here all right let's uh, create our custom pattern let's say it's uh, my call to action and then we're gonna copy and paste this exactly like we did for template for template parts or templates and here we need to provide some pattern information for example like name and it's gonna be my call to action then slug and the slug is uh, I already told you that I'm, okay <laughs> I removed everything it's gonna be Misha slash my call to action for example and then we can provide categories for our custom pattern and in our case it's just call to action category and we can provide it like this call to action then we can use another category let's just uh, make it like this so I'm just gonna show you another category and uh, maybe keywords uh, keywords are actually useful when you have tons of patterns and you can use this search bar to search for your custom pat for any specific pattern and you can use keywords here I'm just gonna make it like this keyword all right and on that save I guess and let's uh, go ahead and refresh this page all right we still have a single pattern and this is the pattern from the database let's just uh, delete it from now and okay now we do not have any patterns at all I guess I just messed up a little bit over here so let's just uh, open title slug categories all right maybe uh -huh, name title all right now it should be fine title slug categories maybe so, something like this and now let's refresh this page and yes right now we have our custom pattern which is uh, which we get from the theme folder and right now as you can see it has this lock icon because this pattern can can be changed because it is just a file in our custom theme but you can duplicate it and create another pattern from it I mean not you but your theme users later when they use your custom theme and I guess that's all for today guys uh, that's everything I wanted to show you so right now you can work with template parts in your theme and also create custom patterns and categorize them if you wish and um, yes, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.